one. Ted Maley's been talking about more <laughs> hot weather coming our way, but maybe not quite so hot as we thought. Right. Now, yesterday I, I mentioned we might get a little bit of cooling before the real hot weather return over the weekend. It's still, that trend is going to continue where it's going to go down a little bit tomorrow and up a little bit into the weekend, but maybe not quite as far up. We hope not. Yeah, we'll keep our fingers <laughs> crossed. All right, let's see how warm it was today. Yeah. 95 out at the airport. Go ahead, Juan. 98 here in the city, and that was the uh, reported hot spot in the state today. <laughs> Florence, we beat them out. They were only 97. How about that? For the first time Amazing. in two or three days. Normal's being 66 and 87, so you can see we are well above those normal readings. Record low was a cool 52 back in 1965, and a warm 99 back in 1925. And that 99 uh, it's the first time we haven't seen a 100 or 100 plus degree temperature there since June 11th. So those normal, uh, those record highs starting to dwindle down into the 90s at this point. Showing the, the power. Next, we have a revised. Stand by both cameras. One more notch high in the fair category at six. The main contributor now, ragweed with pigweed following close behind. Oh, and I blew it. Around South oh. Carolina, there it comes. <laughs> a warm night going for us with temperatures pretty much in the 70s to low 80s. The warmest readings run right along the uh, coastal sections. I give up. Northeasterly wind bringing down. No more messing around. Uh, slowly bringing down a little bit of cooler air. So no, I don't want to skip temperatures it. Temperatures a little cooler than what they've been perhaps yeah. in the mid to upper 60s. And for the pilots, visual flight rules, though the haze will be thickening up, especially closer to the ocean, and that will be a little bit of a problem, keeping visibilities down a little bit over the next couple of days. All right, up to the satellite, a little something. What is going on here? We certainly do. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> In case you don't believe it, uh, here's a picture of the Earth, and it, it truly is round. Now, am I going to be able to get back in this and point out what I want to do? I give up. What we want to show you there is... Uh, What's going on here? Like this, this is wasted now. Let's just go on to the next One picture. Minute. I want to show you that line right along the uh, central part of the United States, the intertropical convergence. So maybe we'll... First, we'll my tape on five. All right, I don't know where we're going from this point. Uh, I know what's... Let the, me get uh, through this, okay? I know he's off. I can't do anything around, about it. But, uh, most of the South Carolina area is clear and dry. And let's go to the uh, national map now and see where the rain is falling around the United States. <laughs> we are really in trouble tonight. Uh, California, you can see, has lots of clear skies. The Most of the rain at this point is from uh, west of the Carolinas out into the western United States. Still heavy rains down in the Texas Gulf coastal areas. Some active thunderstorms in the northern seconds. plains. The frontal systems moving mostly across the northern tier of states. And that is the, where the main problems in the weather are. And there's some big heavy thunderstorms up around uh, the Minnesota, Iowa area. Warm temperatures today, 100 degrees up there in Topeka, Kansas. I think uh, Norfolk, Nebraska was also way up there in the 90s with a record high and uh, more pleasant weather in the northeast down in florida still rather warm temperatures the hot spot you might guess it once again gila bend out there in the southwest 109 degrees all right for tomorrow things uh about the same as today, uh, high pressure to the north and south of us. We'll have a little uh, bit of variable wind flow over us, but mostly dry weather here in the southeast. Most of the rain in Texas and up in the northern central part of the country. The highs tomorrow should be mostly in the 80s, but we may briefly touch in the 90s here in the Carolinas. Music. And we'll try for the forecast after this. Stage music, at 11 p.m., clear skies, 76 degrees, very high in the humidity, 87%. We have no wind. It's calm out of doors and the barometer. Fairly high, 30-10 and rising. Other areas at 11 o'clock, reporting in, pretty much in the 70s. The Two trains, spots, one key. Uh, let's see, Bamberg, 81, and uh, Dillon up there reporting in at 80. And the forecast for the remainder of the night, fair and turning a little bit cooler. The overnight low in the mid-60s, winds northeast at 5. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, a little haze still in the air. The high should reach up around 91, so a few degrees down from today. Northeast on those winds at 5 to 10. Fair skies tomorrow night down to 66 and we won't show you any raindrops in the next five days or a little increase in clouds on both sunday and tuesday the next chance of any significant cooling coming around the mid part of next week and a lot of good times for the fish and gamers early tomorrow morning at uh, quarter past five another great one hey hello there satellite uh 4 30 tomorrow afternoon. i wish i had oh, to put boy. this in I didn't here really have some nice too. things to show them on that uh, earth picture and I'll, I'll pull that out again tomorrow maybe we can we can get it so sounds okay. like the forecast should have been uh, mostly sunny followed by technical problems okay. or something like that <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.